It's unusual. Usually it doesn't take this long. All right. Oh, hello, this is uh, Nuke Green, and welcome to Let's Read Japanese, course series for the reading of Japanese text alongside its uh, audio counterpart. All right, so the way so how this is going to work, off the side I'm going to display text. All right, now usually these are subtitle rips from the TV shows, but they could be a digital book. And then up above will be the audio I'll be playing. Uh, again, probably from the TV show that the subtitles came from, but it could also be the audiobook version of the book that I'm reading. All right, so as I'm reading along, if I read along to the audio, and the direct benefit is that you get to hear how native pronunciation is of the uh, text, but the other benefit's going to be is increased understanding and comprehension, retention and comprehension of what you're reading. Um, and that's true no matter the language, even if it's in your native language. Okay, so as I'm reading along, if I come across a phrase that was kind of difficult to read, I can pause the audio and or repeat the audio if I want to, um, and try to essentially parse what the sentence is trying to say. And if I come across a word or a phrase I just don't know, I can like hover over it here, and then I get a pop-up dictionary called Yomi-chan. Now, this particular dictionary, the main definition I'm going to see is like this right here, which is going to be a Japanese definition. So that's kind of good in that I'm using Japanese to kind of comprehend Japanese. But if that turns out to be kind of difficult, usually with abstract concepts, um, I can just scroll on down real fast, and boom, there's the uh, English definition to go with it. All right, along with, um, okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so the main benefit, if you if you consume material in this way, is that after doing a reading of it like this, if you rewatch the show as it's normally meant to be, or re-listen to it if it's an audio book, um, you may find that you comprehend so much more than if you had just done the repeated viewing of it you know, two or three times. So again, that's the benefit of going into in depth like this. All right, so with that said, uh, if you probably noticed, this is a, actually before I go into the uh, show itself. Uh, so again, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and a like. If you like the series and what I'm doing with it, you can subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna do more series like this in the future. And I think it's like at 26 or 27 uh, of the series. Uh, also, this is all part of the Let's Learn Japanese project. So if you like that project, what I'm doing to help with the Japanese learning community, uh, you can show your support through Patreon. So links to that for you to become a patron down below. Also, there's links to the Let's Learn Japanese web, uh, website put together by Otaku Dave, the Let's Learn Japanese community discord. Finally, if you'd like to hire me on commission for whatever reason, normally it's technical assistance getting started. Could also be advice or whatnot. The, I, there are direct links, to, that's done via the Patreon also, but there are direct links to that for the uh, hourly rates. Cool. All right, that out of the way. This is a new series of starting up. Um, it's called uh, Shinya Shokudo, Midnight Niner, Midnight Cafe. You, you got all sorts of different translations, what you see. Um, uh, but yeah, this is a three season series that was on TV. I uh, forgot what channel it was on. But then it got picked up by Netflix. They did an additional two series called uh, Mid, uh, Shinya Shokudo and then Tokyo Monogatari or something like that. Uh, the so uh, essentially these are five seasons. Each season's about ten episodes long, and every episode's about thirty minutes. It's very, it's almost like a stage play in the, in the way it's set up. <laughs> and the stage being this one diner. Um, uh, I haven't seen every episode, but I've seen enough. I know I like it. Um, some it. I have your discretion is warned. This is going. This is set near. Um, what was it Shinjuku? Yeah, I think uh, Shinjuku. Yeah, near Shinjuku uh, or Shibuya. One of the two. I don't know. Probably Shinjuku. No, no, it is Shibuya. Okay. <sighs> I don't know. I've got my locations in Tokyo. It's all sorts of messed up. Um, but, but anyway, uh, it's set near there, which is also near the, um, uh, what is it called? The Kabukicho District, which is a red light area, adult entertainment, inter adult entertainment area. Uh, large, one of the largest uh, red light districts in Tokyo, you know, or in Japan. For that matter, although there are a few other red light districts in the city, the uh, so again the stories are going to cover you know strippers, sex workers, reporters. I think reporters, uh, people, just everyday workers, yakuza. It's just going to cover a whole range of people and their stories, and this how it kind of intertwine or interconnected or intersect in this uh, particular cafe, uh, diner or cafe. Cool. Um, what else? Um, I'm also going to do something a little different. I've been saying it on each of these streams. So this, what I'm going to do is split the seasons up with a different se with a different show. So after season one, I'm going to do another show that very short show, you know, another ten episode show or so, 
then do season two, then another 10 episode show of a different TV show on Netflix and go back. So I'm going to go back and forth on that. Um, in addition to, like, I think, um, Kino Nani Otabata, What Did You Eat Yesterday? Um, Nkyo NG, I think it's Nkyo or Kyo N, one of the two. Nkyo NG. The, um, uh, that's a six episode, well, seven, that seven episode series, but I'm going to split that up over 12 parts. The, I also feel like, um, I want to do a, you know, a season or two of Terrace House, the very first Terrace House, um, before they started doing the, uh, definitely <laughs> episodes before they started doing the count conversations, uh, and some others. I also got one special one planned that's, it, hopefully if I can get it to work, it'll be kind of interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's. So again, I'll be doing all five seasons, all 50 episodes, uh, which normally if I did back-to-back -back, would take me close to a month to do, uh, or 50 days worth of uh, videos. But because I'll be splitting that up in with others, so it'll be like almost four months worth of videos that I'm going to be having planned out, at least four months. So it should be kind of interesting for the amount of content that's going to be developed. All right. Um, what else? I think that's about it. The... Um, yeah, but again, I, I do have to say, if your discretion to be, like I said, what I did with GTO, every, if I should, I could show you the uh, the video reports, like every single one was uh, labeled like uh, unsuitable or like for, I guess, uh, like unsuitable for content ads or whatnot. I mean, they all got demonetized by the copyright owners of the song, so that wasn't a problem there. They also, unlike most of the other ones, it, this one had the plus one, which was, oh, it's also maybe unsuitable for ads. So, yeah, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I pretty sure it's going to be ca carrying over here because again, this is, I'm assuming this is the part of Tokyo or this is the part of Japanese life that isn't taught in the books. Like if anyone who's taken ja uh, Japanese in, in, a, in, a, in a, like Genki one or two, or, uh, let's learn, ja let's, um, what is it? Japanese for busy people or Japanese from zero. I'm pretty sure there's nothing about the, um, uh, Pretty sure Shinjuku area of uh, Shibu. Yeah. God damn, I'm keep getting the two areas mixed up, and I feel like an idiot for that. Um, it's probably Shibuya though. Uh, the but anyway, near there, and definitely not Hinodecho. And yeah, so Hinodecho, no, no, Kabuki Cho. There we go, Kabuki. Every town seems to have a Hinodecho, but um, Kabuki Cho. There we go. All right, so with that, let's uh, let's get started. Uh, let me find out, one, how many people are watching this for fun. All right, three people are watching. If you want to leave comments, feel free. I might not address the comments too much. I'm mainly going to concentrate just on the show. And, yeah. Anyway, with that, let's get started. Hopefully the links to the subtitles and there are all there. Uh, I didn't look at the... Is to the mega. Somebody else uploaded it, so I just uh, linked to the mega folder. I didn't check if the uh, all the subtitles are in there, but it, it should be thirty for the uh, uh, Midnight Cafe or Midnight Diner. Then it should be another twenty for the Tokyo Story variant. Okay, with that, let's get started. Okay. So One day. See something real quick. Make sure. Yeah, let's make it 100. Should be good. It seems good. Awari. Shitobido ga iejie to isogoro. No, it should be a house alley or something. But, uh, yeah, should be good. Yeah, it 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 should be good.俺の一日は始まる。メニューはこれだけ。あとは勝手に注文してくれりゃ。できるもんなら作るよってのが俺の営業方針さ。There and that's the title of 
あのー、豚汁定食以外に何かできます Um, let's assume that I say pork soup or something, but let's make sure. Chonjiru. Utashiru, yeah.、Uh, pork soup. Yeah, so he's saying anything outside the menu.、Um, I didn't even look at the s i g n Oh, shoga.、Um, shoga yaki. That's actually pretty good. Oh, that's good. Anyway, sorry. Ano, tonjiru te shoga yai ni nani ka d e k i m a s しょうが焼き定食とかああ大丈夫だよあじゃあそれではいよ Now I'm probably gonna be skipping over a lot of the マスター cookie montages ただいまいよおかえりどうだったいマカオ向こうの社長にもう少し踊ってくれないかって頼まれたけど向こうの社長にもう少し踊ってくれないかって頼まれたけど運命の出会いってあんのよね<笑>相手は日本人かいカジノもデキキディーラーなのカジノあそうなんですかシノだと思うしカジノえんうれりきは very good luck あそう be able skilled カジノもデキキディーラーなの。Oh, it's okay. it's カードさばきがとってもきれいでさ。カードさばき。I think that means cutting, right? Or shuffling? さばき。カードさばき。Oh, no, okay. Don't quite know why that's、uh, what that means then. See if there's a different さばき here. There we go. Handling. うまく取り扱うこと。カードさばき。Oh, let's look at that kanji real quick. Okay, makes sense. カジノもデキキディーラーなの。カードさばきがとっても綺麗でさ。そういや、前の男はピアニストだったもんな。<笑>男は指使いが大事なの。指使い。Finger work. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I know she's probably giving it an entendre, but uh. Yubizukai. Otoko wa Yubizukai ga daiji nano. Konoko no namae wa Marilyn. Iwaeru Odoriko san te yatsu de. Uchi no Jolin ni mo hiiki ga iru. Jolin. Aru. Yushoku ten. Regular. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so it is Shinjuku. I guess Shibuya is like the. I should remember Shibuya Crossing, so Shinjuku is one. Okay, good.、Uh, okay. Sorry, I don't go to Tokyo all that much. Tarako wa yaku no kai. Oh, I'm sorry. Tarako wa. Master, Tarako to shochu roku de. Tarako.、Uh, what is Tarako? Codfish or a fish? Tarano. Oh, eggs. r o w eggs. Oh, okay. Tarako. So that's a. a、uh, de tarame. So that's the tara of the tarame, but I mean it's codfish.、Uh, yeah, cod r o So codfish and the r o e x Okay, tarako. Master, tarako to shochu roku de. Tarako wa yaku no kai. Mm. Mi DM lea ne. Marilyn wa to ってもほれっぽくて Ho れっぽくて Oh, yeah, it's like, um, it's really light, right?
make sure about that. I, I know it should be yeah, falling in love. Hore pukte. Marilyn was to them hore pukte. Hore to none them hore to a tokono mane o stagaru tokonga. Stagaru. Stai. While the subject matter is adultery, and there's no, I don't think there's any nudity in any of these uh, any of these episodes. I don't think so. Although the subject matter can become kind of heavy. Now where are we at here? There we go. I know it's like open notebook, but let's see if it's a phrase in and of itself. Let's see. Kaicho. Um. Hidden Okubeki. Oh, so the um, reveal the hidden stuff. Okay. Misarasukoro. Unveil, yeah. Yeah, the unveiling, so Kaicho. Alright. Okay. So she likes what her uh, boyfriend likes. Got it. That does look good. Midiya Muriya da. I usually don't see it cooked though. I uh, usually see it they more like more raw and then with eggs because the eggs are much smaller, kind of a uh, crunchy, kind of crunchy. Yatta. Tarako. Okay. How chi? Things like oishi, but oh, how chi? Let's see. Yeah, it's probably that. Like a. Oh yeah. In fact, never mind. It's saying there. <laughs> Let me explain something. So if you look right here on the subtitles here, um, so that part I de have deleted from the the text here because it kind of can interfere with the um, the the dictionary. But yes, yeah, kind of good that they're they are saying like, oh, this is what she's really saying. So okay. Oh gee. Yep. Yep. パリちゃんの子は水山レアに限るわね。あ、ザベスト。ごちそうさま。おやすみ。どうも。オッケー。やくずみたい。いや。よ。久しぶり。久しぶり。いつもの。いつも。りゅうちゃんはこの辺じ
I'm sorry, anyway. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's the Aji fry, kukai. Demo, ora. Aji fry. Um, deep fry horse mackerel. Horse mackerel. Okay. I think usually for these, it's probably better if you actually um, do a do a Google image search. I'm not going to do it for this, but that that's where you kind of have a better idea. But usually, it's going to show you what the food is by the time he makes it. In this case, I don't, he doesn't show what Aji fry is. <laughs> Azas. <laughs> uh, okay, well there you go. Okay, aji fry. That's those are good. That's really good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ご開。注文したら何でも作ってくれる店や。うん。じゃあ、あ、俺そろそろ店戻らなくちゃ。親父。エッカルカ。エッカルコ。Let's hear him say it. できないね。じゃあ、ツバメのスナスープは。ツバメのスープ。うん、ツバメ。スワローズネスト。なんでネスはいかがで、ブードスペットとかじゃないのツバ。ああ、ユースペットブードスペットスープ。あげん、これは多
Let's see the guy's name again. Let me go back here. Close is a Omoa's Koyo Dashtanoa. Konomichi Yonju Hachinem. Hmm. 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 Let me make sure though. Um, yeah, it is Nishome. Nishome. It's not like you're saying Nishome though. Make sure it's not a, a phrase I'm misunderstanding. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Eh, is no? Itadakimasu. なつかしやじ。お兄さん。もらってばっかりじゃ悪いから。私の卵焼きどう少し端つけちゃったけど。悪いな。どういたしまして。いや、don't <笑> say what Irina, just say I eat it.私ヤクザなんて大嫌いなんだけどヤクザなんて大嫌いなんだけどあんたは別俺はもともと岡間大嫌いなんだよねえ、and it's I don't think it's as insulting to I mean I don't think you would use the phrase lightly you know Okama Okama very uh, so again careful about using those words and re to refer to people directly it, you know especially to um, I don't think I don't think it's considered a I mean if someone who's you know, you know being outward about it, uh, Okama boy maybe sound insulting I, again I don't know but careful about using phrases you hear in this series Careful about the phrase you use, especially depending on the groups. Like th again, like either of these two characters, one is Yakuza, the other guy, he just says whatever he's thinking, so he's probably not reserved in his comments. Yeah, era son. Maika. Nezirashii na. Kosuzu san ga yoi tsubureru nante. <笑>確かに。はい。甘い卵焼き一丁。ああ、来た来た。ああ、いい匂い。少しいかが。豆乳になっちゃうよ。俺はさ、卵焼きやしょっぱい方が好きなの。こう、出汁をたっぷり効か
<笑>どうかしら Yeah, so also,、um, I removed all the audio, so yeah. It's minor. Kosu san, Winner, the Moitame Yoka. You are a Liu Chan no Morate Taber Kara o i s h i n Jana. Liu Chan mo on the Jona go to it. うん、同じような、うん、同じようなうん、同じようなあっまた振られちゃったみたい<笑>あマスター悪いんだけど。これ詰めてもらえるかしら店の子たちお腹すかしてるだろうと思うから困らないよもし余ったら近所の猫にでもやろうと思ってたから<笑>はいわざわざ作り直してもらったのに。一日が終わり家路へと急ぐ人々ただ何かやり残したような気がして寄り道したい夜もある。たらこの焼き加減いつものでいいのかい焼かないで<笑>生でちょうだいたらこはミディアムレアに限るんじゃなかったのかい知らないあんな男<笑>別れたのかい,のかいミディアムレアの男とはあんなマザコンこっちから願い下げよあんなマザコンこっちから願い下げよ。
ヤクザに惚れるなんて小鈴姉さんも焼きが回ったわね<笑>そういうんじゃないわよあまりね惚れた晴れたで死ぬの生きるのなんて<笑>バレるスワリンインフォメーション惚れて惚れ惚れて惚れて OK 惚れて晴れて、うん、惚れて晴れて惚れた晴れたで惚れた晴れたで晴れたで死ぬの生きるのなんて死ぬの惚れた晴れたで死ぬの生きるのなんてとっくに上がっちゃってるわよ人より余計に長く生きてるくせして脇が甘いっていうか脇が甘い脇が甘い人より余計に長く生きてるくせして脇が甘いっていうかヤクザなんかに入れ上げたらケツ抜けまでもついとられちゃうわよケツのけあそれはケツのけああ。俺たちは。後ろに取る。ああ、オッケー。だからケツのけ。ヤクザなんかに入れ上げたらケツのけまで虫に取られちゃうわよ。リュウちゃん来ないかなカツアゲで忙しいんでしょ<笑>カツアゲカツアゲでカツアゲで忙しいんでしょあの人は筋を通す人なのよ筋を通す way of strength go to the function 筋を通す人なのよ私にはあの人は筋を通す人なのよ私にはわかる人は見かけによらないって言うからな弱らおしゃべりよる人は見かけによらないって言うからなけど背が高すぎじゃねしあげるのせいえその件ですねえあのこちらの方であのできる限りのせいよえできる限りそうですプルーフレーオッケーせいできる限りできるだけその件ですねあのこちらの方であのできる限りのせいよえっふざけーあおジーズスあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Yeah, it's like two? Man.
So sorry about that. Uh, Ken Zaki. Okay. Okay.幸い命に別状はなかったが別状不数とは壊れている体の状態アンニュートルです幸い命に別状はなかったが龍ちゃんはしばらく入院することになった マスターお願いがあるんだけど一段うん一段目二段目<笑><笑> okay so he's just saying the stacks of the okay so open the box 三段目合成だな合成だマスターに頼んで作ってもらったの召し上がれ赤いウインナーと卵焼きってやっぱりお弁当の二大スターよね Nidai style? Let's see if that's a two minute. Two minute style. Obento no Nidai style. Akai winna to tamagoyaki te. Yappari. Obento no Nidai style, ne? Let's see, Drog. Uh, well, yeah, that's actually what I am using. This is the uh, language learning with Netflix app. So I am using it. But I'm just using it right now for skipping back and forth. And uh, I use a different app for downloading the subtitles. ゆうちゃんは、ウィンナーに思い出とかあるの心にしまってる大切な思い出って誰にでもあるもんね。でも私の卵焼きの思い出いつかりゅうちゃんに聞いてもらいたいなうん死ななくてよかったりゅうちゃんいなくなったら私わかってるわよ<笑> So again, I apologize, I am skipping over the, um, a lot of these videos are going to be some non-spoken portions. It's just that, again, it's a let's read, not a let's watch. Um, so again, I apologize about that. And I'm noticing, like, I'm probably going to be skipping over some important plot points as well. そろそろ帰ったら...仕事あんだろ世の中はつかず離れず隅田川つかず離れず隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川隅田川
。かつぶしあるあーつい、かつずし。あるけど、なんだいあったかいご飯にのっけてお醤油かけて食べたいんだけどネコマンマかいネコマンマかいネコマンマそれがこの子がうちに来た最初の日だった、はい、皆さん目玉焼きは簡単だけど卵焼きはちょっとですよねでも面倒くさがらずに。チャレンジしてみませんでも、めんどくさがらずにチャレンジしてみませんフライパンの上で卵をスクランブル状にしてまとめるとふわっと仕上がるわ。こうやって手前に折って奥に寄せて流します浮かんでくる気泡は潰しましょう浮かんでくる液体や OK や、Evaporate、Bubble、OK、液体、液、気泡、OK、そう、気泡。浮かんでくる気泡は潰しましょう。あ、OK。じゃあ、また。おやすみなさい。Maybe I should start practicing cooking these foods from the show. Like, you know, tamago yaki. So it takes a little more effort to make. You know, obviously, scramble would be kind of the easiest. Even sunny side up, like he was saying, is t probably the easiest. But even then, you want to, even making sunny side up is like, you know, do you pour a little water to get,、um, you know, get, get just the right type of texture with the cooking?、Um, um, you know, even doing scramble, there's a certain technique. So, you know, get a nice, even texture. So, but it's also not. Cook so hard that it's just like、um, tougher to eat. You want to still want to have that nice,、um, not necessarily raw, but it, it's cooked, but still has a, but not uh, uh, <laughs> tough.、Um, hmm. You know, maybe I'll make that as a, maybe a challenge. I'll, I'll think about it, but not for the live stream, but I definitely need to, like, you know, since the kitchen's behind me, maybe think about, you know, trying to cook stuff like that to see if it's worth,、uh, you know, learning some of these dishes. Cool. All right.、Uh, Let's, uh, let's stop it there real quick. Okay, so this was very short. I get the feeling these episodes are going to be much shorter.、Uh, I, again, it's more for the visuals. You know, you see the guy cooking, you see the characters. You take in, it's a lot more what is not spoken. And so I apologize that it's a let's read, not a let's watch, as I mentioned. So I, I know I'm going to be skipping over some parts that、um, are still going to be very important to the story.、Um, Now, the interesting thing is when we get to seasons four and five, since those are done on Netflix, those two seasons also have what's called、um, audio description, and it's in Japanese, Japanese audio descriptions of the non spoken portion. So the benefit's going to be there is I'm not going to skip around, as, skip over stuff as much because、um, it will have a narrator discussing what's being shown on the screen, which I think can be very important.、Mm. Downside, of course, is that there's no、uh, text for that.、Uh, 
so if you do the if you do use like that plugin like um what is it td meru um I'm, i forgot the name of the plugin but again you have to download off like matt's uh, uh refold discord but if you on there it might be posted elsewhere as well but uh with that in fact no no i ha actually i posted on my discord uh i believe i i think i did the um the benefit there that's one that allows you to, like download all the audio so i don't recommend downloading uh, if you're doing the compact audio, I mean, it was called like compressed audio, but I guess you shouldn't call it compressed because that's more of a saving that di data type. But instead of compact, in other words, taking out the, si the non-spoken portions. Uh, if you do that, don't use don't, definitely don't use one with the audio descriptions because then you're going to have like uh, audio being or someone talking being cut on and off, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so definitely be aware of that. But if you do take the entire audio, I think that's maybe the one of the few times it's worth maybe taking the entire audio of the show uh, if you want to do it for listing purposes. Uh, it, again, it's up to you. Um, I'm not quite sure how I, how I would feel about it myself, but yeah, I, I mean, I like because again, I like that it gives a sort of a, a more of an audio book feel to it. Where because the big thing about books is describing the scene, painting the scene in your mind which is super important. That's what where good books uh, excel at, you know, not just with the dialogue, which, you know, can be spoken, but, you know, definitely with the scenery and the settings and the actions that, you know, that just, if you're not told that, then the reader, um, then you kind of put too much on the reader. And it is good if you kind of like what, what's in your head, you know, you're able to then uh, translate that to another person via the spoken word. Um, what's happening here? But yeah, it's a darn good series. It is a, it's a very good series. And I've seen this episode a few times, but I've never stopped to look up some of these words. So it is nice. And the other benefit is going to be, because <laughs> a big thing in Japan is food. So a good thing to learn about is the names of the names of foods. And, and um, a lot of the shows are not only just about, it's about food and cooking and trying out all the different restaurants. That's just a big thing about show, common uh, shows in Japan on Japanese TV. And unfortunately, you're never going to hear eBay talk about bad food. You know, apparently any food on you show on TV has got to be good. You don't see too much negative criticism on Japanese TV. You know, if you're used to that on on uh, the U.S. TV shows or uh, uh, Western TV shows, and yeah, that's just, it's just again, it's just a it's just a thing. Uh, cool. All right, so I think I'll end that here. This was a good start. I'm going to be doing these for 10 videos. This one I'll make private and it'll be public again on June the 30th. Okay, so how do I say it? We'll call it Midnight Diner, sure. Midnight Diner 1. There we go. Um, I'll probably do another video later today uh, as far as doing the live stream, but then again, that'll be made available on July the 1st and go from there cool um yeah and yeah okay so anyway thank you for watching this has been uh nuke marine let's read japanese shinya shokudo season one episode one the yeah one one the if you enjoyed the video remember give it a like or a thumbs up and leave a comment this feedback's appreciated if you like the series and you like to see more like this subscribe to the channel if you haven't already can make more like this the um, this is all part of the Let's Learn Japanese project. So if you like what I'm doing with the project and the Japanese learning community for the Japanese learning community, then you can you can become a patron of the Patreon. So the links are down below, as well as links to the uh, Let's Learn Japanese website, Let's Learn Japanese community Discord, and also if you like to hire me on commission, the hourly rates are done via the Patreon. Yeah, again for usually technical assistance or advice, usually getting started into the series. All right, cool. Thank you all very much. Um, this is fun, and like I said, I'm looking forward to doing more of these. Um, there's 50 in total, so that's going to be, again, two months' worth of, of um, content. <laughs> right. and, it, and, again, it's going to be mixed in with other content as well. It's like every season there will be, be split between with some other different show just to kind of um, uh, spread stuff out. All right. Thank you all very much. This is Nuke Marine, and uh, see you later. All right. And, uh, by the way, thanks for um, uh, Jutaki, Drock, and Dr. Molo for your comments in the uh during the live during the live stream. All right, and uh later.